Welcome to another top pick based on originality, condition, and price. The feature car today is a 1964 Buick Riviera Coupe. It's really very beautiful. I'm Rob Lofaris. You're watching the Daily Classics and Drivers Channel. Let's check this car out. I found this car on Facebook Marketplace a few minutes ago. I've been watching this car a couple of days now, and I decided to post it. It's really pretty. It's a 1964 Buick Riviera. It's got, uh, he says 32,000 miles, but of course, you know, with a car this old, it's always true mileage unknown until we see the car. He's asking $26,000 and it's based in Pennsylvania. A little backstory on the Buick Riviera. The first generation, which this is, was built from 1963 to 65. However, the Riviera designation uh, was already used by GM on Buick and Oldsmobile to promote ultra luxury cars from the late 1940s until the 1950s. This all new Riviera had a distinctive body shell unique to its mark, which was very unusual for General Motors at the time. If you think back of the 1968 Lincoln Mark III, it also had that unique uh, body shell uh, and this Riviera did the same thing. So there was a lot of investment in tooling on this car uh, that I'm not sure if they got it back or not. But certainly the prices on these cars have been a little depressed and uh, $26,000, I think this is a good deal. Uh, going on with the Buick, when it was first launched, the 401 cubic inch engine, which became known as the Nailhead V8, had 325 horsepower. Automatic transmission was the only transmission available. I believe it was a three-speed automatic transmission in 64. And of course, by 64, the nail head uh, grew to be 425 cubic inches uh, sometime in December of 1962. Uh, and this feature 64 car has that 425 cubic inch engine. Uh, doing the walk around on the car real fast, the first thing you notice is the photographs. Uh, the seasons in the photographs change often. It's summer, spring, and now it's fall. So, and he's holding the camera the wrong way. You know, you got to hold it in the in landscape mode to, to get the full photos and it's unfortunate people just don't take photos the right way or they don't give big enough descriptions um and uh you know if you if you're selling a car and you need photos you buy me lunch I'll, I'll come out and help you you know uh anyway but everything looks really nice the car looks to be a, a restored example uh probably not frame off because that would be excessively expensive to do but nicely done. Um, you look at the detail on the engine, the correct air cleaner. It almost makes me appear that this car is too cheap. Um, so always buy or beware on these things. Because when you think about a 1964 or a 65 muscle car, you know, you can't get anything for $26,000 today. And here you have, a, you know, a 425 cubic inch engine, a two-door coupe, very personable. It's not a muscle car but it is very beautiful so it kind of reminds me of where prices are on four four seat t-birds in the same years uh somewhat depressed and it's unfortunate but this body style in particular is really very pretty uh, the interiors on these cars are absolutely beautiful very personal uh this car in particular looks to have all new interior again i don't we don't know if these are very old photos or newer photos but uh, if the car looks this way right now with this interior, uh, you know, and the exterior looking so nice, again, here's a summer photo or spring photo. Uh, the person looks like he's, uh, you know, an automotive person. He's got a garage with cars in there. But, you know, these original spoke, you know, real spoke wheels and all that, those are expensive add-ons. So um, the car looks well worth $26,000 if it's real. And uh, always proceed, again, with caution. Look how beautiful that center console is and how welcoming this interior is it's so feel like a pilot again everybody was into airplane themes back then and you can see it how it carries through with these big gauges here and all that so it's a uh, beautiful floor mats looks like a brand new carpeting uh, it, it's not an inexpensive carpeting as well this is expensive stuff so uh, again you couldn't restore this car for twenty six thousand dollars because a paint work on this car will cost you you know fifteen thousand dollars to do it right today so I'm thinking I'm going to I'm going to call very favorably on this car if it's legit and uh, he's got a regular plate on the car. So that means he's been driving it. So it's not a dealer type situation. So I'm very bullish on this car if it's real and uh, I like it a lot. So uh, that wraps up this Daily Classics and Drivers Top Pick. To get more information on this really nice car, go visit our Facebook uh, link here on the on a Facebook uh, link that would take you right to our page. Uh, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. We're trying to grow it and, and get more clients on here and have some fun. 
And uh, thank you all for your support. Again, see you really soon with another Daily Classics and Drivers top pick. Thanks a lot.